Hello, welcome back to another video. It's a bit strange because I'm filming on a Monday instead of the weekend. I couldn't because I was working. Oh, I'm so knackered over it still. I feel, still fucking feel it now. <clears throat> but that's not the video. It's about, obviously, the very video of Doctor Who from last... I was working Saturday, so I watched it last night. It's a three-odd episode. And I'm just going to show you pictures of it. And then, I'll exp and then I'm just going to discuss it. What I thought about it and all of that. So, here we go. But yeah, 73 yard episode, and I, I thought it was brilliant. I know it was a bit weird because how it all went, and I thought it was brilliant. I thought I really liked it again, not action, but it was enjoyable still because you like the stories. It was about Ruby, wasn't it? And it's linked to the last two as well. So I'll be discussing more of that when it comes to the last because the last two are two parters. So it's linked to this, a bit like series four with um, Turn Left and Journey's End and Stolen Earth. Sorry, Stolen Earth and Journey's End, it was like how it all started. There's a lot to discuss, discuss in this episode. You Kate Stewart in it, so that proves it, didn't it? That was like Turn Left. It was literally like, I think Turn Left was probably better, to be fair. Because it had action into it, but 73 yards was, was bloody brilliant because... I think it's brilliant because I thought that was um, either Miss Flood. I thought it was Miss Flood, that lady, but it's not. It was Miss. Um, it was Ruby. I was going to say Millie Gibson. That's the actress. Ruby Sunday when she was older, but she had to grow old and grow old to make it happen. I think that's why the doctor come back again because it was like because if he just steps in it again, it was nuts. It was a bit strange. It was a bit creepy. To be fair. Every time someone went near her, they were running away. <laughs> but we don't know. I reckon she's she's got something in stock. Because obviously, over that, because uh, she was saying, get away from that girl. Something about her, what we're, what we're all scared about. She, she's either some robot bomb thing, I think. Or she's like a god. Like some kind of god or something. So she, she's not, I don't think she's bad at all. Because they're saying she could be doing with the Rani, the Trickster. Apparently an old villain back in the day. I don't know what he was called. Apparently another Time Lord. Another Time Lord I've never heard of before. The Trickster from Serge and Adventures. That'd be amazing if it was the Trickster. As I said the other time. I'd be fucking amazed if it's a Trickster. It makes sense why he tied Sarah Jane, didn't it? Back in the Serge and Adventures. It kind of makes sense. Like, that's why. Because the Doctor created him. Because that's how he all started. Could be the Trickster. Because people did want Trickster in Doctor, because he did appear, because the 10th Doctor did appear in the wedding of Sarah Jane, didn't he? And that was all linked to the Trickster. So, it's weird because the Trickster got killed by when the Doctor's in it, and, and how it all started. I think that's brilliant. How it all connect. Oh, the Shadow King from Class. There's another theory, she could be the Shadow King from Class. So I hope Class comes back then, because they need to link things to that. That's what I'm saying. That I like how because this episode was linked to Turn Left. I thought it was, I thought it was linked to three episodes: one of Dot Two and two Serge and Adventure episodes. I thought it was linked to Turn Left. The one with the one I'm talking about with Sarah Jane Adventures when when Sarah Jane disappeared and then her friend took her life, took over her life because he was suddenly just he all he just appeared out of nowhere and wanted to take over Sarah Jane. It was like, it's got to be a story to that. We actually never have found out what that was all about. He's something to do with the universe, isn't he? He's in the middle, middle of the reality of the universe. The trickster. So, yeah, so basically he's in the middle of it and he can come into any time, time time and space, any time to, to do anything. He's no different to the toy maker. The toy maker's more... Yeah, but he's not a trickster. He's more of a... The toy maker is more... Can't be this. I, listen, I really hope I see the toy maker again. I did like him playing the toy maker, Neil Patrick. He was brilliant playing it. Don't play a villain either, does he? Neil Patrick Harris. He was brilliant playing it. It's one of my favourite villain, villains, that was. And I've not had a favourite villain in ages. I don't think. I did like Jinx Monsoon one, but I won't say she was my favourite, though. I did like Mysterio, but it wasn't my favourite one, though. One of my favourite episodes was she wasn't one of my favourite villains. But my favourite villains are the Simon, the Daleks, the Master, and... and and the toy maker. Yeah, it's interesting, man. It's getting really interesting. And who was that? That prime minister. 
we ain't gonna find out. He could he could be the. I don't know if he's the one because he could be the. I'm telling you now because he might. I wonder who that prime minister was then. I reckon he could be the next villain for the next. They're saying he's he's the, he's the villain for the next companion. He's nothing to do with Ruby Sunday. He might be. He might do. He might come back, but he's apparently something. I reckon he's the Rani. He can turn to a man, can't it? It regenerates. It can regenerate into a bloke, can't it? The doctor was a woman. The master was a woman. So so can the um, so can the um, the Rani. But there's a bloke this time. The other, the opposite way. And it makes sense, scientists. You need science to make to, to create to stop the meteor, don't you? It, the Rani's do a science, isn't it? It's a scientist kind of time lord. It's quite. It does experiments and shit, and it kind of makes sense. I hope he is the Rani. I mean, he looks good to play it as well. He looks like a time. He looks like something like that as well. It does look like you can tell by his evil eyes. Looks really good. This episode was fucking brilliant, but just not a lot of action. That's one problem with that episode. There was no pronouns in it. It was so good without that. He just got on with it. It's only for the big things. Once again, that's only the big episodes was getting no pronouns in it. When it's just an episode, they're getting pronouns. Like, like next week's one, it's just fucking stupid. I don't think I'm interested in it. I've got, I'm going to watch it. I don't know what I'm going to say about it next week. Because there's not a lot to say about it. It's about fucking... Popsy about internet. We know social media is not, not worth it. We do it because we're because it's our generation these days. But it's a bit stupid not to pouring it out. I'm sure the fucking websites do that. I'm sure people on on radios point that out. Don't worry. Don't need to buy do that, do they? But yeah, this episode was interesting. I think he could be the Rani. And another theory, and I don't think we'd ever find out, because we never actually found out where the Doctor went in turn left. So I don't think we're ever going to find out this theory. I found that theory on Instagram. Not Facebook, because Facebook's all lies, isn't it? But on Instagram. Um, they're saying... Remember the episode of the 60th anniversary, Will Blue Yonder? Well, it was meant to be part of the old doctors returning, but it never happened. It was the twin. It was a repeat. It was the, the twin of looking ten and, and, and the tenth slash fourteenth and and Donna, wasn't it? And they're saying when the TARDIS went away because it's scared. They're saying that's where the TARDIS the TARDIS landed. But I just can't because they're saying something happened between that as well in Shooty's story. I don't think we're going to find out because we never actually find out where the tenant was in turn left. So apparently he died, didn't he? But we never knew he didn't die. Else he didn't die. It was just because that trickster was playing. It was one of the tricksters. Trick, trick, tricksters. I can't remember what he said. This could be one of the tricksters thing as well. No, that was Ruby. That's what I'm saying. Ruby could be one of them as well. It was that beetle thing. It was he appeared in talks with a beetle, didn't he? Like some creature thing, the trickster. And he appeared. He it was money from Sir Jane Adventures, wasn't it? I loved Sir Jane Adventures, and it annoys me the fact. Well. I'm not being funny. You can't blame Riley and Clyde not to come back when it's got fucking singing in it. The stupid pronouns. You can't blame the two actors. The two styles. Can you? They were brilliant, weren't they? Clyde and Riley. She's in a lot of things. Lady. She goes out with the master. She goes out with the Shush of the Wound bloke from the Joe Winter episodes. I'm sure she goes out. And she knows Magic Gill as well. Play jazz. As well, I wonder if the new companion would be linked to Yaz. They're saying that yeah, cause she knows him. I wonder if it big. They they got connected somehow, aren't they? There's nothing from her. I've already mentioned the flux. I, only thing was linked to her was timeless child. Connected to her was was timeless child. Anything else is kind of and power the doctor. Well, kind of power and but power the doctor was only connected from her. Nothing else isn't. Because it's really about Ruby, this one, isn't it? And the big one. Because right? you, 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 you've got one... Next week's a crap one, I'd say. And the next three after that. Well, we, the one when they... Parody, the one when they're in that... Beauty and the Beast time. That one looks good. And you've got the last two afterwards. Two parters. Legend of Ruby Sunday and Empire of the Death. I think one of them is called the last part. This could be interesting. I'm so it's so enjoyable, but it's totally still not the same as it used to be with the eleventh and the tenth Doctor. And I don't and the ninth. It's not the same, but it's still enjoyable. It's, it's, it's definitely beat the last two. I'll give it that. The last two they couldn't do anything about it. It was just how it was, wasn't it? 
It started off quite slow, I think, and now it's getting into the good... Yeah, but it's going steps. You should just go into it anyway, shouldn't it? Yeah, I can't wait for the theories and that. See, that was video for today. As I said, it was a bit weird. Me... Sorry for the noise. I've got the window open. It's bloody hot in here. As I said, I'm filming. It's weird. So if I'm working on the weekends, Saturday, Sundays, I could be uploading on Mondays. Like, next week, I'll probably be available for the Saturday video or the Sunday because I'm going out special for the vlog video, for the vlog, um, for the vlog channel. Because, obviously, again, I have to fucking start the channel again. I ain't happy about it. But I hope this video gets... Because no one's watched my other one yet. I'm really angry about it because some idiot moved it. Some idiot moved my channel. So, it weren't me. I don't know how someone would report it either because I've got no swearing in it. It's about people who want to watch. It's not like this channel. It's got like this channel. I can kind of understand why this channel would be blocked. Too much swearing in it. Not as much now. I don't swear as much in it now. But the old ones, I just swear a lot, and you can't understand why they do. I get it, it's just fucking words, and it shouldn't say it, but it's words. But people just grow up, I think. But if she's talking about someone, well, yeah, it's gonna fucking. Cool, cool. I mean, she talk about people, isn't it? But, yeah, so I'm filming something special for the vlog channel. I hope it really gets loads of views on it. I can't wait to upload it. That's why I might not be able to upload something on the Exploring channel. So, it'll be my second video on, so hopefully this will boost the channel up again. Because my old channel is still on there, YouTube. You can check them all out. Colchester Vlogs, Itchwich Vlogs. The yeah, Show Vlogs. Ones I did for my ex-friends. Shut a shame. I could have done more with them. My ex friends. I've done a few videos. I think I did one with an ex. Was it two? I can't remember. One with my ex friends. So, yeah, you can check them out. Still support that channel. I can't upload it no more, but please come on to my new one. Not not this channel, my new vlog channel. It's called Exploring with Kieran with. It's got Ange Postacoglu on it. The top the manager because I could be doing a lot of football vlogs this year. Next season. Don't you worry. I could be getting Tottenham vlogs. But yeah, anyway, I enjoyed this video. Going off track here. I hope you like this video. And I'll see you next weekend. I could be seeing you next weekend. Don't know. Peace.